deliberate cold exposure seems to cause a dramatic increase in dopamine. And this has actually been substantiated in a really beautiful study entitled Human Physiological Responses to Immersion into Water of Different Temperatures. Really a beautiful study. I love this study. They took people and they had them sit in chairs under water, but their head was out and they were, so they were immersed up to the neck in either three different, either of three different temperatures, excuse me, 32 degrees Celsius, which is 89 degrees Fahrenheit, 20 degrees Celsius, which is 68 degrees Fahrenheit, or 14 degrees Celsius, which is 57.2 degrees Fahrenheit. So not super cold, but then what they did is they measured people's core body temperature throughout. They measured their metabolism and they looked at serum levels of things like norepinephrine, epinephrine, dopamine, and cortisol. Serum meaning within the blood. First of all, all the groups were in the water of a given temperature for one hour, which is much longer than most of the deliberate cold exposure protocols that anyone is using at home. I mean, maybe you're taking one hour long cold showers, or maybe you're getting into a cold water immersion for some period of time, but I have a hard time imagining that it would be an hour and I don't suggest that if it's very cold. So this study focused on actually somewhat moderately cool temperatures, not what I think most people would consider very, very cold temperatures, but extended the duration for quite a while. So again, 32 degrees Celsius, 20 degrees Celsius or 14 degrees Celsius. Here's what they observed. The group that was immersed up to the neck in 32 degrees Celsius, that is 89 degrees Fahrenheit, water did not experience a shift in metabolism, nor a significant increase in dopamine, norepinephrine, or these other catecholamines. The group that was in 20 degrees Celsius, water for an hour, experienced a 93% increase in metabolic rate, which is remarkable given that the water wasn't that cold, and yet an hour is a pretty long time to be in there. And again, it speaks to the dramatic effect of heat transfer that water has, which I mentioned earlier, as opposed to being out in the air at 68 degrees, it would certainly not cause that increase in metabolic rate. The group that was at 14 degrees Celsius, meaning 57.2 degrees Fahrenheit water for an hour, experienced a 350% increase in metabolism. So huge increases in metabolism. Now, the most interesting data to me, at least in terms of mental effects of deliberate cold exposure, were that the plasma or serum levels of norepinephrine in the blood increased 530%. These are huge increases in norepinephrine. Subjects also experienced a 250% increase in dopamine concentrations, which while not 530% as it was with norepinephrine, is still a very large increase in baseline levels of dopamine. And what was interesting is that those increases in dopamine persisted for a very long period of time afterwards, even out to two hours, okay? And they, did, they stopped the study after 120 minutes of getting out of the uh, cold, but nonetheless, these increases in norepinephrine are huge and long lasting. And these increases in dopamine are very large and long lasting. And yet almost everybody who does deliberate cold exposure will say, yeah, it was stressful. I didn't enjoy it. Or I eventually grew to like it, but that I always feel better afterwards. And then that feeling lasts a very long period of time. And I think it's almost certain that those experiences that people report relate to these increases in dopamine and in concert with the increases in norepinephrine also explain the other effect that's commonly reported, which is an enhancement in mental acuity and the ability to focus. Mm -hmm. 